Hello and welcome back to Castelnau. Right, we are just approaching our grain silo. We are going to load up with a canola, as it is a canola selling day. The price is going down as of now, because uh, it does de say December. Um, luckily, it's not that bad at the moment. We will have a quick check here, though, and see... Yeah, it's going to drop drastically next month. So we will take it too. Oh yes, it's much, much better there to Belleron, which is, if I'm not mistaken, the boat. Although we should probably tag it just to be certain. Ah yes, okay, we don't need to tag that, but rather tag that. Right, so we have been there before, so I will make my way there, and uh, we can get some canola sold. Alright, here's our beacon of light, and I'm almost certain that we can simply just... Drop it in there. We will remove the uh, the tag. Now, we should be able to rent. It says it's a train, but it's absolutely not. Uh, 1.9 some kilometers. I probably should have waited for it to show up. As long as it's not reversing, because then it could take ages. Absolutely ages. So we shall see. Oh, it's on its way. Right, uh, while we're waiting for that, which is great, I did happen to see something a bit cheeky as I was driving down this way here. Very cheeky indeed. I will gladly collect that. A village map. Now, unfortunately, I can't remember where the village map is. I, I, I was looking for it the other day, just in passing, and I couldn't find it. It's very possible that, uh, oh, there's the train going. I don't even know if you can use the train for anything. Oh, no. It is reversing. That's not on. That's going to take bloody ages, that. See how close we can get to seeing it. There it is. Oh, blimey. Right, well, or is it going in reverse? Is that going forward or in reverse? I thought it comes the other way, but it must come from this way. That's absolutely fine. Okay, we'll let it do its thing. Um, I really want to try and have a cheeky peek at where it is. But you know what? For now, let's just go here. Let's wait a moment. And uh, it should... I'll have a quick look, actually, off camera, just while we wait for the boat to arrive. Alright, so we are still waiting for the boat, but I have found the map. So there we go, we are missing 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 pieces. Hmm, that's more than I thought, but that's absolutely fine. That is something we are going to uh, have a look at when the time comes, because I would like to collect them all, because there's supposed to be some kind of secret or whatever to discover, so... And you know what? I have a funny feeling that it will be something to do... There's the boat now. Something to do with the castle, which is where... Let's have a look. Let's fly up into the sky as we wait for the boat. Actually, we can see the boat on the way. There it is here. Oh, you know what? That's too cheeky. Oh, I found two right away just by flying over. Well, you know what? I'm going to collect them because I wouldn't have found these. There's no way I would have found these. Okay, well, that's two two down at least. So we'll collect that. And uh, I did see another one here. I know this might be a bit cheeky, but I wasn't intending on finding collectibles. I wanted to see the... And I'm f absolutely happy about £20,000. But, uh, yeah, I just... I don't know. We, we'll have to have a look. You know what I mean? Like, there's got to be something... No, if we, if, we, um, I don't think we'd be able to get up here if we couldn't, you know what I mean? Like, we, I, I want to be able to see if we can actually climb up, like, proper get up here. Uh, but we'll do that another time. For now, we'll make our way to the boat. I wonder if we can get in it now, as it makes its way, or if we're just going to fall on into the water. Ah. It's alright. Uh-oh. Uh oh. Right. We'll uh we're going to I've going to commandeer this ship and we'll see you over there. All right. So y you do actually have to switch to trains. You have to have that setting enabled. So usually I 
don't because then you automatically switch between the train it's just one less thing to switch between but if we put the canola in that should be good there and we can make our way to the cell point so the feature is simply in where is it right here somewhere in here switch to train I just did it where is it why would it leave that space blimey now I can't find it switch to trains off so yeah that is what happened we'll go through the motions here of getting everything sold because um, of course you can tell from here that we are oh there we go yes we sold it for 17,505 brilliant so now that we've done that and I can turn all the uh, oh, hello can turn all the um, markers off interactive zones because I couldn't I couldn't remember how to how to get it done but we have done got it done and now we can head back to the farm however I really do believe that we can pass through till January now let's have a quick look before we do because if we do we have more to sell in January but let's check the cows right I'll keep a very watchful eye on their milk and food uh, we do have so once the chickens are all out of food, we will be selling them. And we will also sell the wheat in January. That is the plan for January because the price is not great now, but we are going to be coming back here in January to sell the wheat. What else have we got to sell? So we do have this much silage and we have enough hay and straw to make another TMR mix. I still haven't decided if I'm going to just sell everything individually or put it into the cows and then take it out as milk which clearly is worth doing so the milk the very final milk sale that we make will be in October of the next year now uh, which is very exciting this stuff I'm hoping can be uh, sold th uh, hopefully made before February but as you can see it is a very very slow production so very quickly on the way back to the farm I'll quickly explain my plan I would still like to try and have episode 25 as the final episode. It might not happen. I'm not going to push for it either way. It would be nice to happen, but it doesn't have to. Basically, what I'd like to do is... Here we'll go. Yeah, we'll go this way. That's where we came. Um, basically, the plan is to put not sorghum, but rather soybeans into our big field. And I do have a few plans as far as fields are concerned moving forward so that is the main plan and that will of course come out in uh, harvest around uh, autumn and we'll sell it straight off the field I know we won't get the best price for it then but we won't be doing another full year after that so we are on the, uh, the, f the tail end of the series which again I'm aiming for 25 episodes but we shall see right we are gonna head to the farm get some wheat put in to the trailer and then we'll be back here and see you in January Good morning and welcome to a beautiful January morning. Right, we do have the cows to feed. We've got lots on. Oh, hello, slurry tank. Uh, we've got lots on, actually. So I was just looking at the prices just as I awoke. And uh, wheat, unfortunately, has gone down quite a bit. But blimey, look at the price of milk right now. It is very very good <laughs> so we don't have to wait all the way till October where we can sell as much as possible today which is exactly what we're going to do now what I'm gonna do with this trailer first so I will give the cows okay the chickens are nearly ready to sell I'm gonna give the cows no more food for now because I, I we don't have quite enough room in the class trailer for all of this uh, wheat so I am going to attach this to the back hopefully yeah there's a hitch on the class trailer so it should be fine um, we're gonna make a lot of money today from the from the milk especially it's gonna be pretty fantastic so let me just attach this here as you can see the trailer is absolutely chock full so right okay there we go so I'm just gonna put this to the side here just get it out of the way because we are going to uh, not use the John Deere for that. It is not a transportation friendly tractor. It is quite slow. It's very good for field work especially. Okay, let's get this attached. Oh dear. Perhaps we cannot. 
Why not? There is a thing there. Mm, blimey. Okay, that's fine. We'll have the helper go uh, and deliver this because we cannot... Um, I wonder how... Let's see how this works. So we need it to go to the... Yes, one of those. Right, uh, the port. So let's see if we can have it go there. Port. That's the one. Yes. Go. Wicked. So as long as it can handle that, then happy days. Please don't get confused. Uh, right, I'm going to let it handle it because it can do. We will hop in here and we'll actually get this all filled up. This is the the priority for today, is selling the bloody milk. Now, where is it going? Where is it off to? Because, uh, oh, chestnuts are done. Deactivate. Right, so this production is slowly going down, but that's absolutely fine. I think we might be able to actually add in 13 kilograms of nuts. Brilliant. Let's add that in and done. Thank you for your services, Renault, for the day. Right, we also, so I have decided as well, if you look at how much food these bloody cows consume, it's a lot. It's a lot. We don't have that much, look at that, it's almost gone. We also have to make all of the TML that we can, uh, which is going to require basically all of this silage, which I'm absolutely okay with. That was definitely part of the plan, it was there for the cows. My thought was potentially I was going to sell it, make a bit of extra money if they had enough food, but they go through it so quickly. So, I mean, blimey, there's 30 Holsteins at max, at like their max capacity, and they're ready to pump out another bunch of cows. Wild. Amazing. Right, these ones we will get sold very soon. We did have a few animals sell in the night, probably sheep, because they are quite full. Um, but yeah, we've got loads on here. We're going to get loads of cash very soon from the dairy here. Have we tagged that properly? Is it the one that's all the way... Ah, yes, okay. This one can be a bit funny to get to, uh, but I will... It is tagged, and we have been there before. You can see the beacon in the distance there. So I'm going to make my way there. We probably have at least four trips to do, um, at the very minimum, possibly more. Uh, so we will get this done I, I won't even I won't even time lapse it because it would just take ages anyways and uh, it is something we've done before it's just something we actually have to do so yeah and we've been there once before actually you know what we'll do a time lapse the first time we'll do we'll do a time lapse the very first time as you can see it's very slow get my cruise control on and maybe a bit of a map so we can ensure we're going the right direction so I think if we go this way and up we could go round but no I'd rather go this way over here and we'll hang a right and yeah we should be all right but yeah as I say do it in a little time lapse Alright, well, I think that's enough of the time-lapse. I have no idea. How did I get in here the first time? I am absolutely blown away. I have no idea how I made this the first time. This is absolutely insane. I had to have come from the other direction because this is mental. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get this sorted. It's right there. Like, we're so close. I wonder if I can make this turn. It's not. It's, it's not possible. It's impossible. It's, I don't, it's got to be, it's just not legit, like, oh my god, I'm breaking the local plants, oh, that I'm going to be kicked out of the village before we even finish the series. Okay, I'm going to get this sorted off camera. Our, our boat is actually probably waiting for us now. Um, I was, I did happen to check the map at the perfect time for the arrival of the ship. Uh, I can't believe it either. That was just perfect timing. So I'm just going to get the wheat loaded in and then we'll take the ship over to the cell point. We'll get the helper to head back to the farm, get the rest of the wheat and uh, have it delivered here as well. All right, we are selling the milk. I have sent the, uh, the Valtra back to the farm so that it could get more 
uh, of the wheat. I should have probably called the boat later on, but it's so inexpensive anyways. For how much we're actually going to get from all that, it's pretty good. Now, I'm excited to see what we get from one trailer. And remember, we have to do this a handful more times. Because uh, it is about, what I can't remember what it was, 28,000 or something to fill. Um, let's see how much we get, though. Blimey, not bad at all. Uh, now we'll head back to the farm. Somehow we'll get out of here and we'll come back a few more times. Alright, so as you can see we are about to make some silage. So yes, I have decided that I'm going to try and use the auto drive helpers as much as possible to uh, get the milk and all that sold because we really want to focus on getting as much, basically as much done as we can. Um, so I'm going to make um, a final TMR mix, so I'm hoping that it works out to be right, where we have 78,000 litres of silage. So, uh, according to the production, the TMR mixer, 78,000 litres of silage would also equal to 39,000 hay and 39,000 straw, which is fine, absolutely fine. Now, I should be able to take it from here, I'll put it in just in case. I know it sometimes likes to be a bit finicky at times, but there we go. Whoop! Oh, please take it. I need my boom back. There we go. Should be fine here if we go like that. Blimey, that is a mess. Okay, perfect. Uh, one quick thing I wanted to kind of put to as a question to you guys. What do you think about the idea of bringing some kit back to, or not back to rather, but to a new map. Now, I, I've kind of liked the idea in the past, and, and now it would be okay to uh, to do all new kit, absolutely. It's a new opportunity to try new things, but I'm just wondering if there was any kit from this series that, that you'd like to see in uh, the next one, whatever it may be, what would it be? Um, essentially what I'm thinking is my thought process on this is I was going to basically sell everything that we can and bring all that money with us to the new the new map again whatever it might be I mean I haven't fully decided yet what it is I have an idea but I don't want to uh, give anything away just yet so we shall see but before we crack on I will find Okay, everyone is back, so we'll get this... Oh, have I shut the engine? Oh, oh, it's saying it hasn't arrived yet. Oh, that's annoying. Must have just arrived behind the uh, the, the lorry. Actually, in fact, the Volvo lorry is one of the ooh, bits of kit that I was kind of on about, about bringing to the new farm. But I think... You know what? No, I, I think I'd like to start fresh, completely fresh. Uh, especially depending on where the map is. Do you know what I mean? It's not like we have a whole bunch of different French kit or anything like that on here. And I don't think we'd switch to a French map, or another French map, for example, but we'll have to see. We will have to see what happens. Okay, let's set this uh, helper off, because we do need them to go to the port again. Port, yes, and off you go. Happy days. Hop in here, we need to get that milk sorted out. Hopefully I'm not in their way. Try and go around here. Which way are you going, love? Okay, perfect. So I'll get this set up again with full milk. Oh, this is in the way. Right, we'll get... Uh, we've got lots on. So many things happening. <laughs> right, so what I'm going to do is put this into a cheeky time lapse. I'll get these tractors sorted and out of the way. We'll get the Volvo headed towards somewhere nearby the dairy, at the very least. So that we can kind of pull in and sell it as we need. And uh, then we'll get some TMR make as well. Alright, well, I didn't even get the chance to uh, start, start up the time lapse yet because this was arriving so soon by the time I finally figured out where the, um, where the, the lorry needed to go. So, a bit frustrating, but that's fine. We now know where they're going. And we've got the rest of it in. Just want to ensure we've got it all in. And we are off. We'll get this wheat sold. We'll be kicked out of the uh, kicked out of here very soon. And yes, wheat is gone, and the milk is still a fantastic price. So should be 
All right. All right, let's see here. How much will we get for all of our wheat? Any second now will be ejected from the boat as it makes its way to Hope Balleron. There we go. Yes, please. I'll take your 35,000 pounds. Brilliant. I can't swim, though. Right. Um, I suppose this is a perfect opportunity to start the time lapse. I do want to check on the lorry. Uh oh. I don't see it. Oh, it's right. Oh, it's all the way up there. Perfect. That gives us an opportunity to, in fact, get the time lapse started. Alright, so I've just hopped to the Volvo because it did get stuck I noticed on the map. Um, I was going to carry on the time lapse loading some bales but I couldn't find my trailer. That's because it's down at the nut area so I'm going to get it back over to the other farm and um, we can load some bales on it. It will be much easier to deal with the straw and the hay once they're on a trailer but we'll get this sold first thing. Alright, so this is definitely the way that I came last time and why I didn't have such struggles because we were able to just drive in and reverse in instead of trying to make that corner. Even though I can go out that way, you can't get in that way, no chance. And even if you were to get in this way, you'd still have to, uh, you'd still have to turn around somewhere, somehow, to sell the milk. Now I remember this being a bit finicky from this angle as well. Yes, there we go. Okay, so we'll get the milk unloaded there. That'll be great. We'll get a payment to come through. I will use probably the... Actually, we can use the Renault and it can go back to the farm with the trailer. And then when it comes back this way with the trailer, it can come with pallet forks and uh, we can load up some of the productions to sell. All right, we are finally arriving to the attic here with the Renault. Uh, in some very disappointing news, I have found out that the dairy only takes so much milk. And I can't even get in there. Uh, the dairy only takes so much milk, so we've had to... Oh, perfect timing there. Yes, we can have that to stop. Just about forgot the key for it. There we go. Uh, the dairy only takes so much. Now that we're at the bakery, it's going to be the same situation, which is extremely frustrating. Um, because the only other place that we can sell it between those two places is the dairy we own. Which obviously isn't going to work very well, is it? So, yeah. Not too certain what to do. Might have to set up a sell point for milk specific to selling milk. Um, yeah, come on. Bloody bus stop, there we go. Or bike thing, whatever. Oh, look at that. You're joking. Right, so we actually have nowhere left to sell milk. Um, yeah, so I think we are going to have to uh, include some sort of uh, milk sell point, I think, from here on out. Because the bakery and the dairy are unfortunately not not going to accept any more. And that's not good because the price is absolutely outrageous. So, well, it's not. It's not really outrageous at all. Uh, it was really good there, but that's probably why it was so good there because you can't sell it all. So that is extremely frustrating. But not the end of the world because, as I say, January is a uh, better time. I don't even know what month we're in. We are in January, so it's the best time. Blimey. Okay, well, that's no good. I think what we'll do is I'm going to do the bale shifting here off camera because this space is, is a bit difficult to show uh, to show a time lapse nicely. There's a lot of cutting in and out of the wall and all that. So I will get as much of this done off camera as I can. I'll load the trailer up with the perfect amount, um, exactly how much we need or as uh, near about at least, and um, we can crack on. All right, we have 40,000 litres of hay and 45,000 litres of straw. And hopefully, we can simply just unstrap and it'll take it. But I don't know if it has to go in-in or not. 
It seems as though it does, but I don't know how that's going to work. Hmm. With that. Uh, well, I suppose we could just unload it. Anyways, I will probably just do that very quickly off camera as well. But perhaps I'll load them in. It's just that silage is a bit uh, precariously stacked. I don't know what exactly I was thinking there, but nevertheless, it is all right. So I'm just going to get this lined up so I can load them in. Um, again, not entirely certain how it's going to work, but we shall try our best. Uh, right, why are they moving about? Okay, we do have the lorry heading over to field f 64. Now the reason is, we'll just head there and I'll show you exactly why. So over here, but we are going to be placing something over here. Now this little house, it, there's nothing about it on the map at all except it's part of the land that we bought and we own, the one that we got for zero pounds, um, which actually does remind me we can sell these now. Now that we've done, we're done with the trees, we can sell the actual fields themselves, or the, uh, the yeah, I suppose fields. They are sold, so we got a bit of extra bob in there. I am also going to sell field 48. Now, I know we had um, a lovely time with it. It's still growing. We haven't done any work on it or anything. We just got hay, and there we are. So I'm not going to uh, further work this field. I am, in fact, going to sell it. So it's now sold, but I am going to buy a new field. I know you're like, what are you doing, mate? You're ending the series. Why would you buy a new field? Well... The reason I want to buy a new field... Oh, they've arrived. Wonderful. The reason I want to buy a new field is because we've got 49 here. And I found, if you can see it, I don't know if you know which one I'm on about, I found another big field that is all ready to be drilled in. Field 60 is another very large field. Now, it's a nice big space. It has a great yield potential. It is 103,000. And I guess technically it is like... It's not field flipping, but anyways, here, let me explain. I am going to do all the work in it, get it limed, get it uh, prepared, fertilized, ready to go, and I'm going to drill both 49 and 60 with soybeans. So that is going to be a very nice m final mega harvest. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to buy that now before they put a crop in. Although it could have been soybeans, I'm not much of a gambler. So we've got loads of cash in. And uh, even after all those purchases, which is brilliant, what has happened here? What is that sound? Blimey, what? Oh. oh, it's a sawmill. I was like, what animal is that? Right, okay. No matter. I will show you exactly what we're going to be doing. So I will reverse the lorry up. I think that this here, this space that we technically own so we can place something on it, is the perfect opportunity to put a cheeky sell all. Now I know I know what some people might say. Oh no, use the productions on the on the the map or whatever. But it is fine. So I'll show you exactly what I'm on about. We'll go all the way to the end. A sell everything is what we're going to place. I might put the interactive zone markers on just so we can see what's going on. Um, production selling points, and there we have it. So I just wanted to make certain of where it was. I don't know what that's all about. But yeah, I think this is fine. We can treat it as a small sort of uh, sales point out in the middle of some sort of nowhere. I don't know what that is, though. Oh, sell wood. Oh, cool. Okay, so literally everything. Uh, all right, let's remove that. And let's have a look at what the price will be now for milk at the sell everything. Two, 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 nine. So it's not the best price. But that's fine, because we can, in fact, sell it. Now, what I might add in as well is the automatic milk sale mod. Now, this is something that I was using on uh, Barley Spring, but I haven't really used it on anything since. Uh, it's a great mod. It adds a bit of realism in the sense of it's selling the milk at, I believe it sells at 6 a.m. every day. Uh, I don't think it's midnight or anything. I think it's 6 a.m. every single day you get milk sold. Now, this is good and bad. Good because milk sells automatically. Bad because we would lose the best price. So what I might do is... I'm very tempted to do this, but I might just not do that and keep this sell everything as what we're doing. Environmental score penalty. What is that? I have never had that before in my life. 
That is very cheeky and I don't understand it. If someone can explain that would be great. <laughs> but for now, uh, we are going to get the helper to go back to the farm. Um, no, I will drive myself. We're literally right there. And we can pass by our new field. So let's do that right now. Um, right, I think that is pretty much the end of January, though. Once we get the milk sold, of course. I am going to sell all the milk that I can here. So we will get the... Uh, don't want to miss the way here, is it? I think it's a left. Oh, yes, this is our field. This is our brand new field. Field 60. What a massive field. Oh yes, this is going to be a very nice soybean field in time. And yes, I know I said sorghum before. I don't know if I did say that I am going to do soybean, but I've decided I'm going to do soybean. So the reason being is, uh, well, it's a great crop to harvest. We don't have to faff with straw. And the nice thing is, is that even though it takes a bit longer to grow than, uh, than the sorghum... Okay, am I going the wrong way here? I suppose we could go this way, but I do want to go the other way, I think. Yes, I do. Um, even though we could do sorghum, it's fine. Because if I do keep the milk until October, for example, then we can sell it all in October when it says the price is good again. Uh, I think it's September, actually, that the price is good also. January and September for milk. Uh, but nevertheless, we will put soybeans in both of those massive fields. And um, happy days for it. So we're going to get a nice big crop out of it get it all sold and then at the very end of the series I still haven't fully decided if I'm going to keep any kit or not but I'm leaning towards not the more I kind of have been recording this episode I know I said earlier should I keep kit yes no I've decided I probably won't because I want to keep things fresh I do have an idea of the next map though so what we would probably do is get all of the um, get all of the uh, items sold everything land animals uh, crops, uh, kit, everything sold, and um, and then from there we can move on to this next map and uh, have some money to start up with, which I think is going to be a really cool thing to do. Brilliant. So that's how much hay and straw we have left. So as you can see, not very much hay left, but I did recently top the sheep up. Oh, but there's so many of them. Look at all these bloody sheep. They're going to run out of food soon, but I'm going to sell them once they do. Also, if you hadn't noticed, I hadn't shown it, so you might not have noticed, but I've got a load of wool down there, all stacked up, ready to be loaded onto a uh, trailer to be sold when the price is right, which I believe is May. I believe it's May. Right, I'm just going to set this helper off to the sell all again, and I will get some bales loaded. All right, we've got the last two hay bales here about to go into the mixer. I did have to remove... There was four bales of silage. What's going on here? Bouncy, bouncy bales. Blimey. Come on. Can you please remove yourself? I don't understand. It's all going so wrong. What is... What is happening? Anyways, I had to remove the silage bales uh, because they were acting up. No, it's because there wasn't enough room. Oh, this is ridiculous. Get off. Please. Please, thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, that's all set. Now, uh, right, we can just leave this here because we will move those bales eventually. Let's have a look at the production. It does hold 50,000 litres of each, but we do need double the amount of we do have a bit of extra straw I will admit there's probably about four or five thousand liters of straw extra in here that will not make anything but that's fine absolutely fine um, actually I should bring this back up over to the sheep I will give them their bales and hopefully the where is the helper I thought it's so close how have they not what is going on oh they're never gonna make this turn why, why did you come all the way down here That's mental. Oh my gosh. Oh, I knew it. Knew it. This is where they got stuck last time. It's absolutely... Oh my goodness. I'm so sorry. But not really. Please be... Nice. Thank you. Bye. Right. Okay. Let's crack on. So that is going to be hopefully the rest of it sold. Um, where's the farm? We've got so much going on. Right. We've got... Th okay. So that's at least another trip in a bit. Uh, but that's absolutely fine, so I will get that done, and I'll get the 
hay put into the sheep and I'll check everything else, make sure everything is good to go and then uh, we will be able to move on to February and by then we should have a lot more cash in as well. These are nearly done so I will keep an eye on them. We'll probably have all the chickens sold uh, before February. So in between now and when we see you again in February, these will be sold. Um, the cows will be fed, the sheep will be fed, the productions will be producing. Uh, these are producing fine. In fact, is there not something to sell from there as well? Ah, uh ha. -huh. So February, it says, is the best time, but the price is going down. Let's have a look. Chestnut cream. Chestnut cream. All right, we can take it to the sell everything as well. But, oh yes, it drops dramatically. Okay, so we'll probably get that dealt with as well. With the Actually, I might even use the uh, Renault for that, because we're already set up. I think that was my plan before. Right, I'll get the animals sorted, and then we'll see you down at the nut factory. Alright, we have the trailer all set up. I'm really worried about this. It's very tight in here. I, I don't know how this is going to go, but we need to see what we've got. Sorry, it sounds like it could be quite loud, so I apologize if it is. Uh, this is chestnut cream, which is what we are after. Now, I'm a bit concerned that there's going to be thousands of liters here. Uh, but what do we need to take? Because we will put this into a bit of a time. I think everything really can be sold. Everything is looking apps. Yeah, everything. Everything that we can uh, take from here, we will take from here. And it's very possible that we'll come back and, uh, and get things... Um, oh, that's good. Right, if it can keep doing that, uh, then we can make this work. So I will tuck this into a time lapse. It's possible that the lorry will arrive at the uh, sell point, and if it does, then I will, uh, of course, head over there and uh, get the milk sold. And uh, But if not, we can just keep loading up as many pallets as the little Renault will allow us to load. Alright, well, as you can see, we have essentially skipped the time lapse. Um, every single time that I put the flower on, it would bounce, 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 and fling everything away. So that is just not on. Um, I'm going to set this to go to the sell everything. It's just the easiest thing to do, and I really, really can't be bothered. Uh, so I think it's 64. It's the same place that, yeah, same place that this heat, oh my goodness, the Volvo got stuck again here. And not only did I set them on the path to come here, going this way, but they actually went this way, all the way back around, and then went to the top and came all the way back down. So, not the most perfect auto drive route. Where, you know what, I'm not even going to get into it, why they're moving the way they're moving. But, what I will do, uh, before we crack on, is turn all of these to selling will make it much easier on ourselves to just have it all sell and money come in, which is absolutely fine. We've been doing that with the butter, and it's the way to go. Uh, as you can see, the silage is ready to be added in, so we'll have to get that tended to. Uh, we did get the sheep all fed up. They are full, 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 um, to the point where there's even more overloaded, so absolutely fine there. The chickens are nearly there. The cows, they will be fed as well, as I've said. It just January's stretching out quite far. I didn't expect it to to, to go quite this um, this far right. You are absolutely not going this way. I'll take this myself and we'll see you at the sell point. Alright, the milk lorry has arrived and so have we. So we'll get all this put into here and get it sold. Now I do know that we had a better price for certain items elsewhere but I'm absolutely fine with that fantastic 54,000 pounds we'll just do a bit of a sneaky move around here I think I know why the uh, Renault was going the way it was going is because it needs some some part of it needs to be repaired because it kept saying going to repair station mate no no I said to come here not repair station so blimey I'm not gonna get used to that sawmill sound every time I come here but Anyways, we should have only one more trailer load of milk uh, to sell, and I will do that off camera, as I keep saying, but again, it's just been such a busy month. 
I did not expect January to be this busy for selling things, but it has been. Um, and I'm not complaining because the more money we have from this series, it can go into the next one, which is really, really fascinating because I'm going to buy all the new kit, uh, new field, new land. Who knows? It's very, very exciting. This is getting sold. And um, let's look at production. So, yes. Uh, automatically selling, auto selling, all this, which is brilliant. The forage is going well. We can load up the rest of those bales into the production. And uh, yeah, we'll get the animals sorted as well. They still need food. And uh, the chickens will be sold soon as well. I still don't get that environmental score penalty, but that's fine. Uh, it's, yeah, it's not very much at all. Right, we'll get this last load of milk. We'll get it sold and do all the animal things. And we'll see you in February. Good morning and welcome to February. As you can see, I do have sold milk, 51,588. Um, I have in fact included the automatic milk sale mod, which is absolutely brilliant. Now we will head out to here because I guarantee that the cows are empty. Were they? Let's have a look. Nearly, nearly empty. So as long as we can keep uh, TMR pumping through, that will be absolutely fantastic. Uh, and then the cows that are there, they can carry on uh, growing older and it will be very good when they do. Uh, we have these ones here. They are growing. We could sell them, but it's all right. They'll just grow up to be older and we can sell them in the future. Uh, for the sheep and all that, they are selling automatically because there's just there's too many of them. Um, so that's fine. I, I won't allow overcrowding or anything because we might as well allow them to uh, sell off the extras because we'll be doing that eventually anyways. Uh, we did get the chickens sold as well. I'm just going to keep doing this. We have the uh, mix coming in. So we do have uh, a final amount of 123,000. I believe it's done. Yeah. So now we're on the, the tail end of the TMR. Once the TMR is out, then the cows will be sold. As you can see, so much milk producing here still. I don't know if we'll actually be able to, to use it all by the time we finish the series. What I might do is take, at the time of the final everything, if there's still milk in here, I might actually sell it. Uh, like, take the amount that there is and figure out what the price is at and then just put the money in. Uh, these items, they are slowly being used. Hopefully, they'll sell and finish up before the end of the time. We do have some more wool to shift, so I'll probably do that off camera because we are getting ready to sell it very soon. Uh, slurry is at a very nice price, so I'll probably do a big uh, slurry selling session as well off camera because it is just a faff. I mean, really, we have our slurry uh, selling pit there, but I'll probably get it all sold off camera. Wool shifted, slurry sold. No, no, no. So, yeah, wool shifted, but not sold. Uh, we will take that too. The potentially the sell everything, but we'll have to wait and see. I think wool is best in ah April. So I thought it said May, but it is April. Yeah, this is a bit off actually, because it does say May, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah, basically it's the month before, <laughs> which is a bit silly. But like eggs, for example, says November, but oh wow, okay, that well that one is accurate then. Fine, absolutely, that's absolutely fine. Uh, we really don't have anything else to do now that in February, except for wait until. So all of this is selling, and that's fine. Um, oh, I believe we sold everything of the chestnut cream. It is all done. Yeah, chestnuts are done, chestnut cream, all sold. So now we're just working through the uh, nuts oil from the hazelnut. The chestnut flour from the chestnuts, of course, and the walnuts flour from the nuts. I think that's what it is. Yeah, perfect. The cows are fine. We will get them filled up here again. The sheep are fine. I think they might have a bale still kicking about right underneath. Uh, sorry, in their trigger, but there's just it's full, which is fine. Um, and then I think, other than keeping the cows fed and doing a few um, sort of orderly things like shifting the wool and all that in the slurry. That is it for February as well. Uh, so basically it's very possible that February and March are going to be relatively slower months in the sense of there's not much on to do 
just yet. Now we could we could go into that other field in March, this one here, and uh, and do something. Oh, you know what we haven't done is buy the um, the field information. So let me go get this filled up once more. Just tuck it over here, and then I will see you at our new field. All right, what a gorgeous day it is indeed here. Beautiful February. We're really calling in the spring here very soon. This is a really nice field actually. I'm very pleased about it. But let's get it soil sampled so that we know exactly what we're dealing with here. So we'll click on that field. We'll purchase soil information for 3237. And wow, look at that. So sandy loam is all right. I think overall it was a good yeah, fairly decent yielding uh, field. So that is good. Sandy loam I think is better than what we want. Silty clay is what we do not want, but yeah. Um, how is all 49? Yeah, it's alright. <laughs> Maybe that's why. It's because uh, currently all of our fields are rubbish. This is not very fair. This one's not very good. That's not fair to, to leave that on us because, yeah. Anyways, as you can see, the pH is good, but it could be perfect. So that's something we could probably do in uh, March. But uh, we shall see. That's something that I can get done. I do want to do all the field work and that. Uh, and, and then the drilling and all, everything. And we've got loads to do. But we do have a few episodes left. Because as I say, this, if I'm not mistaken, should be episode 21. And uh, we do have a few other things to do before we hit 25. But I think we'll make it. Right, well, I will leave in view with our brand new field. In fact, why don't we have a little fly up of it? Ignore the tracks. I did drive through there once with the lorry as uh, it was a bit frustrating with uh, it going all the way around. So yes, ignore that. We will, won't be doing that again. <laughs> you can see the whole way that I drove. That's so funny. What a beautiful... This really is a beautiful map. And I will miss it, but the show must go on. We will be doing a load more field work, fret not, here on Castle Nil. But for now, this does end the episode. So... As always, thank you so much for watching. If you have enjoyed, a cheeky thumbs up really does help out the channel. And please subscribe. So until the next one, please do take care. And bye for now.